Green game, the Scarlet versus the Gray. And McCord throws incomplete in the direction. Marvin Harrison Jr. in motion on third down. Three points on the line for the Ohio State defense if they can force a three and out. And they do a big pass break up there. I think health is going to be first and foremost for him. We obviously talked about Mayan Williams and the size that he has. We were talking about Marvin Harrison phenomenal. McCord moves the pocket and throws it away. He was, it's second down. There is G. Scott Jr., the tight end. McCord flips it and it's caught underneath to Marvin Harrison Jr. That's good for a first step to stop. <laughs> there were some points in the offseason where I said, you can't train this much. All he wants to do is grind, and this is the reason why. There he is again on the crossing route. You know, they are trying to build his route tree, Joshua. They're not lining him up on the outside as much as they did during the regular season last year. And it's a good thing for Mark because that versatility is going to come into play when he gets to the league. Now you see him on a deep over route right there. And just the tempo of the route to be able to get over the second level, stay under the third level. Really good job. Always take that next step. Brooke Fletcher's got a little bit more on Marvin Harrison Jr. as that's through the hands of Cade Stover in completions are looking for and Marv has been great when it comes to contested catches and, and he's the greats do third down for McCord and that's broken up intended for Carnell Tate that's Burke yeah I tried to see what this new chapter looks like Kyle McCord at the controls Honored for All-American Award last year. What does that mean to you? Yeah, I mean, it was... A Brown underwent a minor procedure on a finger on his throwing hand. It's not expected. The backup quarterback may only get three. They might not get any at all. And so there's a, a deficit in rep. McCourt airs it out, looking for Ballard, and the pass incomplete. There's a little feeling out, and then all of a sudden it all clicks. McCord escapes the pocket and here's McCord on fourth down pass is caught by Caleb Brown and he has a first down sustain that on an 8 9 10 play drive can you sustain that into the fourth quarter of a game it's not just about the first quarter typically seen with CJ Stroud with his preferred skill set he was a true pocket passer and I think it's McCord Looking for the tight end, Royer, and it's incomplete. The field, everything goes right. McCord to the end zone, looking for Tate, the freshman, incomplete. It's covered by Jair Brown. Coaching staff has been so impressed with his maturity. What I was told about Carnell Tate is that as a guy who had only acts forcing a punt, McCord to Hayden, the running back, and he's cut down. Still in the backfield on first down. McCord dirts it. McCord moves out and picks up about a yard. Right now, understanding that while you're in the midst of this competition could become a separator. Incomplete over the middle. McCord checks it down there's Hayden we've seen a lot of running back utilization out of the back yep nearly uh, intercepted great, great. Right that's here. our guy CJ Hicks again CJ started off drives last year and mine was finishing and be that goal line back ah, ah, couldn't get out of that break there but the proved right now uh, you know talking to Jim Knowles before we got started today he said in our whole playbook you guys know by route formation what play is coming <laughs> that's why a lot of these guys are running you know jumping right because one of his greatest skills is calling plays regardless of how good heartline is and so you want to put those two together if you can yeah. uh, one plays. Yeah. here's a first down oh, yeah, double move McCord under pressure I, I didn't hear them whistle where there are going to be some really good plays for this offensive line no doubt but they're also going to be able to point to some plays and say, guys, I've gotten to know quite a, a few of them that I think are impressive. Yeah. That pass is complete, a toe tapper. For and I think he's taking full advantage of it. But Hartline really wants him to be able to put the full package together, right? In the slot at the bottom of your screen. 
And McCord on a design quarterback run. Another element that defense has to prepare for. That pass is caught by the fresh Ohio State. It's a homecoming in a lot of ways for the alumni coming back. And there's a shot to Carnell Tate. The freshman with a touchdown from Kyle McCord in the spring game. Maybe the connection of the future here at Ohio State. And I think we're coming out here. You wanted to see Kyle McCord specifically throw it to Carnell Tate because Carnell Tate's a guy that everybody's talked about. We've talked about him on this broadcast and his work ethic and his athletic ability creates that separation, is able to track the deep ball. And Kyle McCord throwing one accurately right where his receiver is a standard bearer for much of that that's in and out of the hands of Tate might have heard footsteps there he had three guys closing in on him it's a uh, vulnerable position to be in as a wide receiver in that it's always fun to see my coaches run especially <laughs> when they were on the other sideline you know so